ahead and bring on Coach Mike Nesbitt from the OUAZ Spirit football team. Mitch, you got it queued up. Once again, they have um, their home opener tonight against Western New Mexico out at Spirit Field in Surprise. Yes. Coach Nesbitt, how are you this morning, sir? <laughs> Good morning, guys. How's it Co- going? Are you a Rolling Stones fan? You seem like you would be. Yeah, you know, I do like a little bit of the Rolling Stones. Yeah, I've got a yeah. little bit. I've got a few Rolling Stones on the old iPad. You know, I could and, see you as yeah. a roadie back in the day for the Stones. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. But, uh, Coach, congratulations on last week's <laughs> win. And then uh, you got a big one tonight uh, hosting Western New Mexico. What can you tell us about the Mustangs? Uh, the, you know, the, the Western New Mexico Mustangs, they, they got a lot of good players. They did a really good job of adding some good recruits, you know, coming from last, off the last season. Their defensive line, they picked up a defensive lineman that they had a red shirt last year that's got some NFL prospects. And their front four is really a good group. Their interior noses and three techniques are really solid. They got two corners that are playing lights out coming off of last year's group. And so offensively for us, we're going to see a really good defense tonight. You know, we're going to see some guys with some speed and some length, and so it'll be interesting. And then on offense for them, it's, you know, they're, they're running a lot of RPOs and gap schemes. And, you know, we're still kind of waiting to see who they're going to play at quarterback. They recruit a good quarterback out of Butler, and then they have another local guy uh, that's, you know, looking to play for them tonight. So it's, that's going to be an interesting deal. And they picked up a really good wide receiver out of Florida. So it, it'll be uh, this will be one of our biggest tests in the last two seasons that we'll see. But it's going to be a lot of fun. We should have a great crowd and, and a lot of excitement going on about this game. Well, speaking of offense, Coach, you guys put up some outstanding offensive numbers last week at Doan University. Talk a little bit about the performance of your offense, not only your offensive line, but your skill guys as well. Well, you know, I I thought Richard Montello stepped in and had a good game, and Kayvon Gardner and Ray Springer, you know, kind of started back where they left off last year. But Richard Montello was, you know, a brand-new player for us, getting to play his first game of the year and and his first start. He just showed up and, and did a really good job in it. On the other side, Jeremiah Greylock had a fantastic night, you know, just kind of steady as always, you know, right where he needs to be. And then our, you know, five tailbacks stepped in, and and they all played really good at different spots and moved them around the field a little bit. And so our skill positions we're real pleased with. And then our offensive line just did a great job checking some protections and getting the run game going for us when we needed it. So it was was a, a pleasure, you know, to see the offense kind of get rolling at that speed the first night out. It certainly did. Austin felt real, it looked real comfortable in the pocket. But uh, Kayvon Gardner, uh, you know, he had quite uh, quite a game. He picked up, uh, maybe had some butterflies a little early, uh, m- missed a couple of catches. I-, I teased him after the game, told him he had to ditch the gloves. Did he ditch the gloves, Coach, or is he still going to no, wear them again? No, no, I think he's still wearing them. I think he's still okay. using them. No, he looked good during practice. And yeah. Doing fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, defensively, you had a great game. You almost pitched a shutout there. And, uh, you know, it was funny. We were we were giving the uh, Doan University fans a, a little bit of a hard time because uh, you'd have thought they won the Super Bowl when they scored, scored that touchdown there in the final minute of the game. So, uh, you know, you, you nearly, very nearly had a, it would have been there the first time they'd been shut out in 10 years. But uh, you, you kind of gave a gave up a cheap one to them there toward the end. But you looked real strong. You looked real good. And, and we're excited for you this week um uh with and it, how, what's the bi- buzz been like in the community for your team you guys are in the top 25 now. and by the way james and i get to vote in that poll so uh we expect some dinners and some lunches <laughs> and, you know and now that you guys are in the top 25 hey, you're ranked number 22 you're welcome in the nation. coach yes yeah, yeah you're welcome no. and uh you know, between between free food and gear i'm trying to figure out why you guys are always on the radio i think that's the only <laughs> You guys try to get free meals and many as many free t-shirts and shorts as you guys we, can get. Holy we God. do. You, we don't know. Back, how to, We, we can't pay our bills. Polo and now you're attacking Campo I, I know it. You know, and we can't. We, coach over at Campo Verde does not need to be attacked by you guys like that. Oh, <laughs> come on <laughs> now. Come Holy on. We, James and I are pillars of the community. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so yeah, so coach, so again, so so Austin, uh, what, did he have a good week of practice? He did. He had a fantastic week. You know, it's it's been good. You know, the kids are you know they're in a good rhythm right now, and, and they're you know they're excited to get a play at home for the first time. We've had a good buzz on campus, and I think they're close to all the season tickets being sold out. And wow. So they're expecting a great crowd tonight, and you know, hopefully it's. You know, our student section is going to be packed and have a standing room only type situation. So it'd be neat to see that, you know, and I, everywhere all over City Hall and around the city of Surprise and just the people we're around with on a daily basis. You know, we, we've got people coming to us 
on Monday and Tuesday of last this week. And coach, your guys played good. And, and some of them we've never even met, you know, and they're watching our games now and they're, they're seeing our kids around campus and, and everything. And so it's, it's just a neat thing. You know, it's an exciting community right now to see what's going on with our football program. We've got people coming out and watching this practice and, and that's what you want. You know, you just want some excitement and a little buzz for your kids as hard as they work. Coach, on the defensive side of the ball, you got a number of studs playing on there for you. Talk a little bit about uh, the return of Marcus Ferrier to the lineup, and then uh, you guys uh, yeah. made a little shift up front on oh the my defensive gosh. line with uh, Lemma Collins, yeah. who is fast as lightning, by the Moving way. Moving him from DN down into nose tackle. That was a <laughs> bold move. It was amazing. That was a great move, Coach. Yeah, and, um, you know, Mike Bethea did a great job with that, and David Mosley, you know, just kind of coming up with that. And when we got Marcus back, it was kind of the deal of, you know, do we limit – playing time for both of them? Do we kind of rest them? You know, how do we do it? And then and then with the emergence of Christian Baville playing so well at Rush. Yes. And it just kind of – and then Maverick Bradford stepped up and was able yep. to play, you know, on the other side for us. So, well, then it was like, well, can we get all four on the field at the same time? And then it was – you know, we ended up being able to get Lemon in there. And then Lemon just being a great team player of going, yeah, I'll move inside. But he could understand and see his value about playing inside. And that was true on his end of just stepping up and saying, hey, I'm going to play nose, and it's going to draw a double team for me or it's going to draw a double team for Marcus. But one of us is going to get a signal, and if we can get a signal block on one of those guys, then you know, we're going to have a good opportunity. And so uh, that was that was exciting to see. But the buy-in factor by both of those guys, you know, moving positions a little bit and, and maybe getting outside their comfort zone to help the team is really exciting. The home opener tonight, Coach, 7 p.m. over at Spirit Field and Surprise on the campus of OUAZ. Uh, a lot of Spirit fans listening right now, we hope, obviously. But uh, what would you say to them, the ones coming out tonight for the home opener, and uh, they're going to make some noise for your Spirit football yeah, team? Yeah, just, just get behind our team. You know, we've got, a, we've got a great home schedule coming up. You know, we've got a lot of games at home with some conference opponents coming in the week after the next. And that's the big thing. Our kids – like playing, you know, love being in the community, love being around it, and uh, we just love as much support and be as loud and come early and stay late. And be there yeah, it's them. not – that that schedule is definitely not a gimme, Coach. And, and, you know, we're – James and I are particularly excited because we, as we glance over from our, uh, our perch over the field, we could see the tailgating going on, and so we're going to make our way out there. We'll do some interviews, and, and hopefully uh, some people will feed us. <laughs> no, good, you know, there, should be some, there should be some funnel cakes over there. You know, oh, man. I want guys. wings. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah wings. Any, any of you guys yeah. out there? And I think Shamar Moreland's family will be out there as well, uh, return specialist and running back Shamar Moreland. Always so great to see them. It's good to see them. And so uh, you, you guys got to feed us tonight. So uh, we'll make sure and call his name a lot. And we'll oh, be nice to goodness. you, Coach. Promise we'll be nice to you. So. Uh, it's okay. We'll take the good and the bad. It's all good. You guys do a great job for us. We really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you, Coach. Thanks so much for coming on here with us uh, again tonight, 7 p.m. Spirit Field, the Western New Mexico Mustangs in town to face the OUAZ Spirit. It's going to be a great game. Vince and I will be on the call. Yep. So make your way out there if you can, and uh, we'll step aside here shortly.